Bob Lazar, the man who claimed that worked in Area 51, where top secret projects are being developed. And, interestingly, on several occasions, he was subjected to a polygraph test, the test confirmed that his statements were correct regarding the secret research facilities and alien technology present within some of the most famous spaces in the United States. According to Lazar, the so-called UFO were not built by humans, the cabins inside the craft was very small and only a child could fit into them. Lazar says that these flying saucers were built and piloted by extraterrestrial beings. Mysteriously, it looked as if the UFOs were made in one piece, they did not have a point of welding and they were made of an unknown material on Earth. In 1989, Bob Lazar, revealed to the public that UFOs were captured by the US government. And the UFOs were triggered by a mysterious element 115. Of course at that time, the claims made by Lazar were labeled as very absurd since the scientific community had no knowledge of element 115. In 2003, his statements gained more credibility when a group of Russian scientists managed to create the elusive element, and now, 16 years after that achievement, the discovery of element 115 was finally confirmed after numerous tests verifying its existence. However, the scientific version of element 115 differs drastically from what Lazar has described in recent years, since according to reports, the element disintegrates in less than a second and cannot be used for anything. The Union Pentium, the temporary name for element 115, is an extremely radioactive element, its most stable known isotope, Union Pentium 289, has a half-life of only 220 milliseconds. In 2014, Lazar was interviewed by George Knapp. Where they talked about element 115, Lazar dismissed the first findings surrounding element 115, stating that more research will be needed to produce an isotope of the element that will match his initial description. So far they made a few atoms, let's see what other isotopes they will discover. One of them, or more, will need to be stable and have the exact properties that I said, Lazar told Knapp. In addition to element 115, the scientists introduced the 113, 117, and 118. Interestingly, all these four elements are super heavy, made in laboratories and very radioactive. The chemistry community is eager to see their most precious table finally completed to the seventh row, said Professor Jan Riedijk president of the Division of Inorganic Chemistry of the IAPAC. IAPAC has started the process of formalizing the names and symbols for these elements temporarily named as an antrium, UUT or element 113, Union Pentium UUP, element 115, Ununceptium UUS, element 117, and Ununoctium UUO, element 118.